Hey, we're here with Megan McKeever, a senior at the National Championships here in Eugene, Oregon, Hayward Field. Hammer Prelims here kicked off action, first event of the four-day meet here. Talk about your day today, Megan, and how it went. Well, it was a little rough. I had a really good practice yesterday, and I was just hoping to do the same thing. But I'm happy to be here, and the experience has been a, such a positive. I mean, you're there with the best throwers in the nation, I think 24 approximately or so, in the prelims. What were some of the big marks today that you saw in the prelims? Um, I think the furthest mark was 65-plus meters. Um, I came in ranked 23rd, left 18th, can't complain. So. Talk about your series each throw. Um, my first throw was kind of safe. I didn't want it to play it safe, but it happened that way. Second throw, backed off a little bit. And third throw, I just went for it and hit the ground, hit the cage. It's all right. The throws coach, Lisa, has obviously quite a resume as far as the hammer goes. Mm -hmm. What was her advice before today's uh, throws? Um, she know you can do it. Done it before. Um, just have a great time. She's someone that psych tries to psych you up or try to relax you before the event? Uh, it's kind of a happy medium because I can pretty I can psych myself up pretty well and I can also mellow myself out. So I talked to some of the coaches back, you know, several months ago and kind of like walked around the building there and they said that basically they knew you had the talent. There's a few little things you just needed to fix there. What were some things that you saw that changed in your technique that helped you make it to this uh, championships? Um, definitely my entry. Feeling connected on the entry is a big thing and then just going with it and making sure my feet can follow. When you're out here with the best throwers in the nation there, how do you keep all the stress and the pressure in check? Yeah, I mean, I've seen these girls throughout my, full, my four years here. Um, so it's just like any other meet, but obviously there's a little more pressure. Okay. Talk about kind of your start in the sport, because obviously people don't throw the hammer when they're 10 years old. So talk about your trajectory to get here. Yeah, um, I started my senior year, probably the last two months of the, of the school year. And um, freshman year, really picked it up. Coach Lisa helped me out this whole time. And um, I've thrown 204, so it's definitely in there. Yeah, and talk about kind of like the year by year progression as a Bulldog. Yeah, freshman year, um, 180. Sophomore year, 195. Last year, 204. Um, senior year, 195, but I've had a lot of far fouls. So are there things that she's been doing as far as trying to get you to be ready to be for this meet this whole year? Is just to give you confidence or just certain things about being a championship type qualifier? Yeah, I mean, she's a three-time Olympian, so she definitely has the experience, and um, it's definitely rubbed off. So uh, this is your chance now to thank those people who made you uh, able to come here as far as you know, family, friends, coaches along the way. Go back through the whole list of thank yous. Yeah, I mean, my coach is here at Fresno State. My dad made the drive up from San Jose. My grandparents came down from Portland. Um, I have a lot of fans at home watching and cheering me on, and all my teammates. So. I mean, go back to when you were coming out of high school there. Kind of what led you to become a bulldog in the first place? Um, I really love the atmosphere of the valley, and um, it's close to home, so it's just great. So, what were your goals back then, walking the door as a freshman four years ago? Yeah, I had no idea that I'd be the weight champion my freshman year for WAC. Um, ever since then, it's just been a whole bunch of stuff on top of each other, and winning Bulldog of the Year really just made it great. Yeah. Any other highlights as far as meet competitions, a great series that you want to look back on fondly? Um, I think Stanford or Texas Relays were probably my best performances for this year, mm -hmm. but overall Mountain West Championships last year. What were your throws like with those two meets? Just solid, fluid, went in very confident, knew I was going to win kind of thing. So. So I know that the track and field is kind of those sports that has some big time stars, but other stars who don't have a career past this meet. What holds the what lays ahead for you in the future? Yeah, I'm hoping to go home, um, train Rio 2016. So I can definitely do it. I just have to put my mind to it. And then as far as academically, what's your major and kind of what are your plans that way? Um, I, gra I graduated in sociology, and um, I've got a little job lined up, so hopefully that works out. That's awesome. Well, we're glad to have you here as a Bulldog. Look forward to seeing you in the future, whether you're a professional athlete or doing some professional jobs and occupation-wise. So congratulations. Thank you.